welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Moschino and his collection with H&M. Now even though this collection did come out about two to three years ago, now that my channel is finally up and running, I am able to share it with all of you. So I hope you enjoy. Now Moschino was originally founded in 1983 by Franco Moschino, however in 1994 he did sadly pass away. Now it wasn't until 2013 that Jeremy Scott took over as creative director of Moschino, and if there was anyone destined and meant to run Moschino, it was definitely Jeremy Scott. Now a few pieces you may remember from Moschino is definitely um, at the Met Gala when he created Cardi B's dress. This dress that Cardi B wore was 100% couture from Moschino, probably took hours to make and definitely gorgeous. Now you may remember the Met Gala when they did have the camp theme. Katy Perry did show up dressed as a hamburger, accompanied by fries of course. And I have to say that these two pieces are very, very, very Moschino. I will be getting into this point later on. However, another dress that Katy Perry wore was the chandelier dress. Now, this specific chandelier dress, I am absolutely in awe about. Um, this is definitely something that I do want to own one day. Strolling around your house, posing, and definitely watching Beauty and the Beast in this would be absolutely everything. Of course, I can't forget Bella Hadid. Um, Bella Hadid, more of a simple version for the Met Gala. Um, but still, you know, a beautiful, beautiful couture dress, absolutely amazing, fits her like a glove and absolutely gorgeous in it. I truly thought that Tracy Elise Ross, um, her dress was very unique, very like a uh, mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fiercest of them all, um, and that was so cool. Um, that was an idea that I didn't necessarily like think of myself, so, you know, Definitely something that was innovative with Moschino. And then of course you have his bear collection, which everybody always loves the bears. He makes these cute bears on phone cases, t-shirts, hoodies. There was even a makeup collection with Sephora featuring the bear. Super, super cute. Never got my hands on it and I wanted it at the time, but I'm pretty over it now. Okay, so now I'll get into what I purchased at H&M with this collection. Um, I did order everything online, and I was very disappointed because I'll get into the story later, but half of my order actually sold out before they shipped it to me, so I did only get one item out of everything I ordered. So the first piece that I did get with this H&M collection was this beautiful faux fur yellow scarf. Absolutely soft and amazing. Um, this is super cute. So to show you how beautiful it is, I did have to lay it on my wonderful Versace bed. Yes, my bed will have a review coming soon. This is such a beautiful golden yellow color. I have to say the quality on this is absolutely amazing. If you are familiar with real fur, you will be able to tell the difference of how it's cut, of how it's laid. This looks so much like real fox fur that I am so impressed. Even the tails are great quality, very thick and comfortable. They are detachable if you would like to detach the tails and just have a cute, more simplified version. The tag says H&M Moschino and all along the lining as well. So for this piece, you can wear it in so many different ways. Um, of course, just over both shoulders, kind of a way. You can definitely do like a cute Shaw moment with it. So for this, it looks so cute if you have like a black turtleneck or just any kind of dark sweater. Um, if you pair it with a yellow diamond right here, that would be so cute, revealing your collarbones. Of course, you know, you can drip it over your shoulder a little bit, pick it up, have a little fava foo moment. I remember I wore this to work once with a black button up, and mm, it was so cute. So, of course, as a scarf, this is super cute, very, very warm. Um, you have it dripping over your shoulder, very like ooh la la, can't go wrong. You can even bring it over this way again and have these dangling here. I just had to go throw on my beautiful Versace robe to show you how well this pairs with it. Um, so having this, just, you know, draping over the shoulder is super cool. One way I've always loved to wear it is to, you know, kind of like tuck it in front of me like a scarf and then take the robe and throw it back over, tie it on up. And then you get this and it's so cute. So, you know, it goes so great with it. To be honest, I love this and I can't recommend this enough. This, especially with the robe. But there's so many different ways you can wear it. It's so versatile, it goes with everything. This one is 100% must have, especially if you love Moschino. 
so the tags it came with um, it says H&M Moschino on the front it has a picture of Jeremy Scott himself the back of this one it has all of the money symbols that you'll find in this collection of course H&M Moschino and on the back it just has the tag one size okay so unfortunately this was the only thing I was able to get in this collection I ordered so many things i had the mtv beach towel the mtv hoodie the t-shirt i had the mickey mouse t-shirt i mean sorry not t-shirt but the hoodie with all of the characters on it three days later i got an email saying that my order was canceled because they were sold out of the items and they were never actually able to place the order they said that the scarf was the only thing in stock and that one is still being shipped however everything else will be credited back and then because of the inconvenience I did get 80% off on my entire next purchase, so I was like, stay la vie. This is the Mickey Mouse hoodie that I really wanted. I still plan on getting this. Originally, I think it was like $85, and now it's on the resale market for one to 200. This necklace, I definitely want. Again, this was like 70, now it's like 150 to 200. Everything on the resale market pretty much only went up like 100 to 200 dollars. They did have a lot of denim items. Um, they did have a bag that was in the shape of a lock, which I thought was super cute. Um, definitely something for like collection purposes. They had this super cute black fur. I think it was like a crop top fur that said Moschino on the back of it. And of course they had this pink fur with chains. Um, this one was super cute as well. Definitely like very, very Moschino, I have to say, because of the chains that's on the hot pink fur. Again, these are faux pieces. They had this cute Moschino belt that had a matching necklace to match it, and it kind of went with like all like the disco print stuff. And of course you have your Mickey Mouse. If you love Mickey Mouse, Donald, Goofy, Mickey, this was definitely the collection for you. Um, I personally love Mickey Mouse, so this collection I was all about. A lot of good pieces, and definitely the MTV stuff. I was obsessed with the MTV stuff. I was like, the MTV, um, the necklace, and the fur, definitely all me. This is definitely a collection that I would recommend. They have a lot of great pieces, great quality, I love Moschino, and to have a little part of the brand, it's always nice. Now time for some history. Okay, so when Moschino first came out in 1983, it was ran by Franco Moschino, who was known as being eccentric, innovative, and very colorful in his designs. It wasn't until 2013 that Jeremy Scott took over um, as creative director, and his first collection was absolutely amazing. So in 2014, that's when he gave us the famous giant McDonald's t-shirt dress. This collection was all about like the nutrition facts on cereal, on candy, candy itself, food itself, drinks, pop. This McDonald's and fast food um, collection was just absolutely everything. Very, very creative, and I definitely love that. And then, of course, this Barbie collection. So, Moschino had this entire line that was so, so Barbie. Um, absolutely so cute. All of these pieces, I would definitely... Um, these ones, I would like to get a couple of them just to have on mannequins in, like, a walk-in closet. It would be cute. So speaking of the Barbie collection, um, I once seen a video of this woman. She had a beautiful walk-in closet and she had like these very vintage Barbies chilling by her Hermes bags, Chanel bags, Louis bags, you know, all of that. And I thought, how cute would that be? So I was in Meyer the other day and Meyer is kind of like, I would say Target on the East Coast in the US if you're not familiar. And I seen this super cute Barbie. I was like, I need it. So I ended up seeing this Barbie and immediately it stuck out to me. I was like, not only does this t-shirt look like an old Moschino collection that Moschino had um, with the unicorn head and the rainbow hair, this is always falling off. So with the unicorn head and the rainbow hair, it is so 100% Moschino. Originally, I seen it and it was 100% Versace. It had the unicorn shirt and all of the Moschino related stuff on the side. I seen this dress and I was like, this is 100% the dress from the 90s from Versace. So that's the first thing I seen. However, um, you know, once I started to see the t-shirt and stuff like that, I was like, definitely for my Moschino section. To answer any questions, Barbies. There's a lot of Barbies I actually want and I plan on making a video about it. 
So Barbie actually has something called the Golden Collection. And the Golden Collection is where you'll find them for like $100, $200 and so up. Um, there is this super cool one from Wizard of Oz, the Green Witch. That one's super cool. I do want that. Um, but mainly they have designer ones. So of course they have Versace, Dior, Valentino, Oscar de la Renta. And even though it wasn't like confirmed that they ever partnered up with Chanel, they do have some that are dressed like they are wearing Chanel. And those ones are also in the Golden Collection. So I do want all of these um, because they will be in my walk-in closet. And then whenever I do have a dollar one day, all of my Barbies will go to her. So really, I think there's like two pluses to still like getting random Barbies and cute things here and there. One, it goes with my luxury fashion world. And two, it will go to my future daughter one day. So you're welcome, future daughter, for having endless cute toys. Then I feel like Moschino kind of took like a turn and took like a dark path for a beautiful Alexander McQueen vibe which I very live for. Alexander McQueen is very like dark and mysterious and his next collection was very much that. It was very like chandelier, haunted house, black swan, crawling out of the dirt vibe. I really liked it. I felt like he had a little more darkness in that collection and I honestly liked it. He really stepped up and made this beautiful giant purple puff with butterflies coming out of it. It is so cute and very, very couture. I'm like, hmm. good job. One of my favorite collections is the one where it's all about like polka dots and drawing. He really made it look like his sketches came to life. So usually when you sketch fashion, it would pretty much look like this. And I thought it was an absolute brilliant idea. Um, very creative with a twist. This dress right here, absolutely in love with. This is one of my all time Moschino dresses that I do want. Um, I was a huge, huge fan of this collection. And this one right here reminds me of an old Barbie um, ornament that I used to have for my Christmas tree. And now I want to get into his current collection, which is very, um, let me eat cake. Giant hoop skirts, very, very back in the day, very elegant and decadent. I must say that the silhouettes I am absolutely in love with. I would actually love a couple of these. Um, this one is super cute. I mean, how can you go wrong with that one? This one is a little toned down because there's no, you know, giant hoop skirt, but still super cute. And this one, which is super, super gorgeous. So if you're interested, Jeremy Scott actually has a documentary on Netflix. It's called Jeremy Scott, The People's Designer. It goes very backstage and into detail about like the fast food collection, him growing up. You'll definitely fall in love with him as a person and it'll kind of like really help you love the brand even more. So yes, I recommend his collection, the brand itself, Jeremy Scott himself, and I approve it. Okay, and that is it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't checked out my last video, make sure you check that out, like, and subscribe. Comment below if anything stood out to you, and I'll see you next time. Au revoir.